guys and thank you for joining me in today's video. Now in this video it is a bit of a sad video. For those of you who don't know, Old Holland Paint Company who used to produce the manganese blue, the last commercial paint company to do so, has run out of the original pigment PB33. So the paint is discontinued and they have replaced it with manganese blue extra. Now for those of you who are confused, any tube that says the extra on it is not the genuine. If it doesn't say extra on the tube, then it's the genuine article. Now the mixture they have replaced it with is a phthalo blue, which is standard throughout most hues of manganese blue. And they also have cobalt and tin oxides, as well as Phillips nickel oxides as well. So I believe it said it was PG50, I think. So it's a turquoise green that's been added to the phthalo blue to make it more green and to increase the granulation. Now this is the first mix I've seen so far of a hue of manganese blue being used with a turquoise colour. Most of them just have a phthalo blue. So this will be interesting to see what it looks like compared to the genuine article from other companies on my own. I've also managed to procure a tube of manganese blue deep, the genuine. This is also running out. I believe some sites do have the blue deep, but it's not as sought after. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just pull some of these out. I'm just going to give it a little shake. They can separate old Holland colours. Quite known for that. So this is the manganese blue extra. One thing I noticed off the bat is it does look quite phthalo blue like. It's a little bit more on the lighter side. In comparison to the genuine. So let's swatch it. Let's try and pick some of the paint up. Interesting. So, swatch it. Some more water. See how it granulates. Let's have that a bit of a glare. Um, looking at it, I mean, I think fair enough to Old Holland for giving a go at replicating this paint. They've not done an awfully bad job. They've done a lot better job than Winsor New and Newton have for making a hue, which is that one there. It's a much better. It granulates but much better as well. That turquoise is really helping to add the granulation. And it really has, it is definitely on the more phthalo blue side. It's not as green or electric enough to be close to the original. However, it does granulate, not anywhere near as heavily, either as the original, but there is granulation there, which most of the hues just don't seem to convey at all. You can see if you look at the Royal Seymour above, they're very close in hue. Not quite granulation. And one of the added bonuses of Old Holland making the this mix is they had the original to compare to from the beginning. A lot of companies didn't have the original pigment to compare it to to try and get it as close as possible whereas Old Holland have so it's while it's very different from the original and it's definitely not exact it's not a bad replacement by the looks of it. I'm going to put it to one side and see how it dries. Now while that is drying I'm going to talk about the future of manganese blue as in with my paint as I do produce it 
The sad news about Old Holland running out is that the pigment is essentially even more on its deathbed. The only producer of it that I can find is here in the UK. I am trying to build up my stock levels of it, however, the whoever distributes the pigment has clocked on so that it's running out and the people are looking for it. And they've increased the price quite expensively and quite drastically. It's a point that I actually have to increase the price of my own pans as well, which is quite sad for those who buy it. There will be a price increase. I've tried to minimise it as much as possible, but the pigment is because has become very expensive. In comparison to what I used to pay for it, it's about three times the amount that I used to pay. That's how much it's gone up. The pans haven't gone up by that sort of amount. They've gone up by a couple of pounds, but I think too drastic. So at the moment, the paint that I have recently made of manganese blue genuine is still drying. I will show you some. So I have half pans available as normal. All my pans get double poured, so they do have a decent amount of pigment in them. That's only been singly poured at the moment. It still has to dry and sink down. I'm also offering it in full pans for those who use more of the paint or who want more of it in their collection. There will be full pans available. It's the first time I've done this and is the only paint that will be available in full pans at the minute. And for those of you who are curious about the paint, you just want to try it out and don't want to pay the price for a full or half pan, I have done some generous dot cards. These dot cards are done with the amount of about one fifth to a quarter of a half pan. So there's a decent amount there for you to do a painting with. You can probably get one painting, maybe two, depending on how much you use it. One thing you can do to stretch the paint further is to add some phthalo blue or cerulean blue to it, or copper blue. It's with that maybe like a ratio of about 70% original genuine paint pigment to 30% mixing paint. And you probably won't notice much of a difference. So I have these available at a cheaper price as well. These will all be available in the new year. And I am also preparing for when the pigment runs out. So I'm stockpiling it as much as I can. I'm also going to be thinking about ideas of what I can do with the last batch of paints. One thing I have thought about doing is maybe auctioning a pan off and giving the money to charity that I get from it. So that could be a potential idea. And as well for the last batch of paints, I was thinking of maybe doing like raffle tickets Maybe. Let me know what you guys think, maybe down in the comments. Um, just to say about the like the last batches of it, it will probably be at some point in the future. I don't think it will be in the immediate future, as in within the next six months. I imagine it will probably go on at least another year, yet it will be available, because there's quite a bit left at the manufacturer. But I can't imagine it will be going many, many years in the future. So there'll be that to deal with as well. But I'm open to two suggestions. So let's just bring the mix back in. And I've noticed as it's, as it's drying, the granulation is losing its effect a bit. It's not as deeply granulating. And now that it's dried, it looks definitely a lot more like the Winter and Newton mix, which is slightly disappointing. However, it is definitely better than Windsor and Newton. There is still more granulation in there. Perhaps if you're painting more layers, it may increase. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to experiment and see what I come up with. So, thank you guys for watching. As normal, please like, rate, comment, subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestions about the end of manganese blue or any what I can do for the last batch, please do let me know. So thank you guys, I will see you next time. Bye bye.